size mapping is one of the options you can do if you want to make your ad units responsive. That means the same ad unit can be served across different devices and it resizes automatically based on the screen width of the device that the user is on. Here's an example. This ad unit here serves as a 970 by 250 when on desktop, but when the user is on a tablet, it resizes to a 728 by 250. And when on a mobile device, it resizes to a 320 by 100. With the use of size mapping, your Google Ad Manager tags will be able to handle that behavior and ensure no inappropriate sizes will be served. Next step is to decide on the minimum width and we recommend 992 pixels for desktop, 728 for tablet, 320 for mobile, and the rest zero. Remember in size mapping, we care about the width here and not the height. So the height can be any size, but the minimum width will follow these rules. Next, you will decide on how many maps or size maps you need, depending on the ad placements on your site. In this example, I have three maps, top, sidebar, and mid content. For my first size map, which I will call mapping one, I have 992 pixels wide here, meaning any device that's 992 pixels wide or bigger, these are the sizes eligible to serve. If the user is using a device that's at least 728 pixels wide, but less than 992, these are the sizes eligible to serve. But if the user's device is at least 320 pixels wide, but less than 728 pixels, these are the sizes that can serve. For any other devices that is less than 320 pixels wide, these are the only two eligible to serve. That's the plan for the top placement. For the sidebar, this is my size map here, which involves, of course, some of the vertical units like 160 by 600, 300 by 600. And for the mid content, I still have square and horizontal ad unit sizes here, but I don't have the large ones like I have on the top placement. And there's the list of ad sizes eligible to serve based on the width or minimum width that I specified. You can create as many size maps as you need, and you can reuse one size map multiple times on multiple ad units as applicable. And I'll show you that in a bit. On your Google Ad Manager account, set up all the ad units you will be using on your site, including the ad sizes. So for this ad unit, for example, I have specified multiple sizes, but the large sizes here will be eligible to serve on desktop or tablet, and the small ones here will be eligible for mobile devices. Once you're ready to generate your tags, go to dfpgpt.appspot.com, tag type GPT, put in your network ID, enable the advanced options, and turn on size mapping. So based on the size maps that we have established earlier, I'll go ahead and put that in here. Click Add New Size Map for the next one, this time for Mapping 2. Just enter. And now for Mapping 3. Once that's done, go ahead and set up all your ad unit codes in here and the corresponding ad slot sizes as configured in your Google Ad Manager ad unit settings. So we have test unit one here, for example, that's in there. And I'll go ahead and add all the sizes configured for it from here. You then have to decide which size mapping will this ad unit follow. So given that it's going to serve 970 by 250 and I plan to have it deployed on the top of the page, so it qualifies for mapping one right here. So then I'll choose mapping one for it. Now let's configure the rest of the ad units. 
So let's say I have my test unit two here and I plan to deploy this on the sidebar. I have vertical sizes, 300 by 600 and 160 by 600 here. And of course, at the same time, it can transform to these sizes when on mobile device. So based on my size map, it will follow my mapping two right there. So this ad unit will have mapping two. There you go. And we'll do the same for the rest of the ad units. So let's say I have here my third ad unit and my fourth ad unit. And both of them will be served in the middle of the page. So then I'll choose mapping three for both of them. Do the same if you have more ad units to deploy. Configure their ad unit code and corresponding ad sizes. Of course, as configured on your Google Ad Manager. And then choose the mapping or size mapping that will apply to it. Then generate the tags. Google Ad Manager then will add the size mapping on the code in the header tag. And each of your ad unit will have defined size mapping for each of them. And of course, the corresponding body text. That concludes our video for today. Want to learn how to become an AdSense expert? Introducing PubGuru University School of AdSense. With 36 on-demand videos and over three and a half hours of content, we will help you become a Google AdSense expert. Enroll today.